In this video, we are going to determine the amount of heat energy that must be removed from 275 grams of steam at 100 degrees Celsius when it condenses and the temperature is lowered to negative 35 degrees Celsius. So the question demands us to find the amount of energy that must be removed from 275 grams of, of steam at 100 degrees Celsius to condense and to bring it uh, further to negative 35 degrees Celsius. Now let's see how we are going to proceed. Uh, we know that we know that um, the energy, the energy that must be added, and the energy that must be removed must be equal according to energy conservation principle. So the conservation of energy states that the energy that must be the energy that must be added plus the energy that must be removed must be equal to zero. So this is the principle. Now let's see, how are we going to move? We know the change of uh, state, or rather the changes of state that are taking place here. We have this mass at this to, to occur here are going to be, okay, from 100 degrees Celsius, 100 degrees Celsius to negative 35 degrees Celsius. So in the middle here, we have a zero, zero degrees Celsius. So from here, we have 100 degrees Celsius. This is the steam. Then if it condenses, we have 100 degrees Celsius. So this is water. And then from 100, we go to zero here, zero degrees Celsius. Okay. So from zero to 100, again, we have to zero, we have this the changing temperature the as zero being the final and this the initial and then from here from zero again we have a combination of water and zero degrees again which is ice so from this we have again zero to negative 35 degrees celsius so from here we can we can proceed as follows so for this one we're going to consider the equation the energy is going to be calculated by ml okay so this one it is the steam and then from this we're going to say m c dt where this is for water and then ice water to ice we have m l that is the uh, ice then from 0 to 35 we are going to have m C ice dt. So from here, what I'm going to have is ML. ML, since it is um, dropping, it is not evaporating but condensing, it is going to be a negative value. So we're going to have M, we're going to have minus ML steam. Then this one, the final temperature is zero. So zero minus 100, we're going to have a minus. So a minus. M, MC, so C water, the standard value for this, it is, uh, we have 4, 186 uh, joules per gram uh, per degree Celsius, then times 100, times 100. So from this, this one says, for when the ice is melting, if this is the, the positive value, what we are going to have here, it is going to be a negative value. So we're going to have M, L, ice. Then this one, it is going to be a final. It is negative 35 minus zero. We are going to have a minus here. M, C, I, 35. Out. M times 35, C, I. Which is uh, the CI here, we can put it directly here, is 2.09. Okay. So from this, I think M is common and we can even factor it out. We can factor it out. So our M and by even replacing it by the value we have. Um, okay, the negative here. 275. 275 times here we are going to. Okay, to indicate the value for this, 0.26 times 10 to the power 3, 
So since we have factored out this, the rest will be plus. This one, we are going to have that one, okay, 86, okay, minus, so this one, it is the value for the latent heat of fusion, it is 335, that's 334, okay, joules per, per gram, then this is plus, since the negative is already out, and then we have plus, this one, 35 times 2.09. So if we, if we punch on a calculator, we add this, we add, and then we multiply by this, what we're going to have is, what we're going to have is 8, 4, 9, 581.25 joules. And this one can be converted to, in fact, we can express it in terms of kilojoules by just moving three decimal places, two, three. So, eight, four, nine kilojoules. So, this is a negative, this is a negative. And from the beginning, we said the Q added plus the Q, which is heat removed, must be equal to zero. So the energy removed is equal to the negative value of this, which is 849.849 kilojoules, okay, minus the negative. So this is going to give us a positive 849 kilojoules. So this is the amount.